You were made to know intimacy with God, to truly know Him and be known by Him. The whole of the gospel centers around right-natured, redeeming relationship. But for many people, the invitation to relational intimacy feels confusing, painful, awkward, even frightening. You know, we crave authentic oneness, but we can't seem to understand how that's carried out with the one who made us. So we fill the void with cheap entertainment and counterfeit connections and self-serving stimulation or rote religious rituals we hope count towards our righteousness. We go and we do and we chase and we perform. And if you're anything like I was, one day you realize you're running on empty. You feel so far from the king you claim to know. What are we missing in our understanding? Where's the disconnect? If Matthew 7, 21 through 23 makes clear that not all who call Christ Lord will be saved, but to many he will say, away from me, I never knew you, then what does it mean to truly be known? When I came to the end of my rope and I finally confessed to him that I was tired and hungry and knew there had to be more to this love-bought grace that was meant to empower my life, it was there that he began to speak to me and open my spiritual eyes. In my exploration of what he meant by no, his invitation to transformational intimacy began to explode off the pages of the word. He revealed to me how singleness, marriage, sex, and childbearing intricately reveal the fullness of the gospel process in our lives. And how topics we've made taboo like sanctification, holiness, submission, and repentance were always meant to be beautiful parts of the good news hearts that bear powerful fruit when the bride rightly understands the love of the bridegroom. There's no hidden mystery for the one hungering for rich relationship. There's no secret knowledge withheld from the pure heart who longs to return to their first love. I want to invite you closer, deeper into the heart of God, to encounter Him, to be challenged, refreshed, to find rest in His arms. You were created to commune with your Creator tuned to know the sound of the Good Shepherd's voice, designed to experience His dignifying touch, and sculpted by Him to house His perfect and powerful spirit. It's time to let your guard down in order to know Him and to be fully known.